It is 10.05, and the site selection business meeting of the 73rd World Science Fiction Convention will be in order. We'll go through the front matter, and then, and then we'll get to the site selection announcement. I am the presiding officer, Kevin Standley. To my right is Jared Dashoff, the deputy. At, at the far end is Donald Eastlake, the parliamentarian. To my left is Linda Dinneroff, the secretary. Our timekeeper is Jesse Pershing. The sergeant at arms is Joyce Reynolds Ward. She has a staff of people keeping the meeting moving along, doing the people mover stuff. And the videographer in the back of the room is Lisa Hayes. She and her staff have been working on keeping the videos up and running. The chair observes that the videos from the first two days meetings are all online on the YouTube events channel, uh, Worldcon events channel. There have been, in some cases, more than 300 views of some of the segments. Um, I would like to once again thank Dep I would like to also thank DEPCON 1 for their grant uh, toward some of the cost of the additional technical equipment necessary to get those videos online as fast as we could. And I uh, would like to remind people that because of the limitations of the recording equipment, we will have short technical timeouts approximately every 30 minutes. I would like to remind people that these technical timeouts of one to two minutes, they are short. They may be less than two minutes. If you get up and start moving around, the meeting may reconvene around you. Let's see, number four. Once again, you do need to come to the microphone. You need to check off your name on the attendance list. And uh, you need to silence any sound-making devices, such as your cell phones. And if you get a telephone call, you need to quickly move out of the room to answer it uh, at Ms. Denneroff. Right, uh, and then Site selection agenda, please. And if, like me, you tweeted out some things that got a lot of retweets, really, really silence your phone. You really don't want to hear bing, 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 bing all meeting long. <laughs> this is the site selection business meeting. The special order of business at this meeting is the presentation of the site selection results for 2017. This will be followed by question time for next year's Worldcon Mid-Americon 2. That is a guaranteed item in the standing rules. It's not constitutional, it's a standing rule. And there are time for presentations for the 2018 bidders. There will be no presentations for any other bidders. Uh, I uh, did not see, did the 2018 San Jose bid rep ever show up? I did not see him. They were up pretty late last Yeah, uh, then the, before, I wanna try, I'm gonna try, yes, okay. I wanna try and deal with this before we get to site selection business if we can. Having spoken, with the bidders. Uh, the bidders have, uh, as far as I can tell, their representatives here, have agreed to dispense with their presentations at this meeting if there is no objection for them doing so. Yeah. Is there any objection? There being no objection, question, uh, presentations from the 2018 bidders are dispensed with. Those are privileges of those bids, not, uh, and they can, they can dispense with them at their discretion. Question time is a guaranteed by the rule and requires the suspension of the rules. Mid-American 2 has agreed to suspend the rules and dispense with question time for the 2016 Worldcon. Is there any objection to doing so? Yes. Uh, is, uh, I will, is there a second to their motion that I got before the meeting to dispense with question time for 2016? Uh, Two-thirds vote being necessary to suspend the rules and dispense with their question time. All of those in favor of dispensing with question time for the 2016 bid, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. There being more than hands down, there being two thirds in the affirmative question time for the 2016 Worldcon is dispensed with. The 2017 site selection election results will be announced in just a moment. However, um, the chair trying to be very blatant and obvious in his sponsorships, uh, given that he is a director of the Montreal Worldcon bid and of the San Jose in 2018 Worldcon bid, uh, is unable to preside over these things. The deputy chair is an officer of one of the 2018 or 2017 Worldcon bids, and he also is unable to preside, and therefore we both are recusing ourselves in favor of the parliamentarian. The timekeeper was on committee, but you need 
me, so I'm staying. <laughs> okay. Right. So, um, the chair will recognize the uh, head of the uh, Site Selection Administration to report. Good morning. I am Joni Brill Dashoff, the Site Selection Administrator. This is Judy Bemis, um, my deputy. Uh, the two of us have been treasurers of Worldcons and understand the importance of a proper handoff. Um, I will start, I don't know if this, and uh, sort of knowing in advance that the two people who have recused themselves would have any parliamentary questions I had actually ended up with Don Eastlake in advance to start with. Um, except for one thing, um, I was not here for any other business meetings. The Constitution says mail. It doesn't specify postal versus electronic, maybe because there didn't need to be a reason to do that. So this year, knowing that three of the bidders were from outside the US, I specifically went through parliamentarian and the div heads all the way up to the chair to ensure that I had everyone's concurrence to allow electronic delivery of ballots. It was not restricted to outside the US and it was not used solely by outside the US. Nor was the postal service delivery used only by US citizens. The envelopes with the foreign stamps, I deprived Todd of that, are in the handoff material. No, I did not do a summary. I'm just giving you a report that this is up to snuff and the only question was electronic signature which was taken as a separate um, issue, S period. All right, I'm going to read from the least number of votes up to the highest. Can I let Don put the story Yes, you can read along with my shoulder over my shoulder because I'm not sure how good my voice is. Um, Boston in 89 received one vote. Marseille, France received one. Mary Ham received one. Happiness Fulfillment Corporation received one. I'm going to abuse this. Guinevoy, Armenia received one. Gallifrey, Chiron received one. Minneapolis in 73 received two. Night Vale received three. All of the above, thank you Mike Scott for putting them in consecutive time order for that to be a possibility. Um, there was much discussion about how the filing would go, whether the individual filings counted as a filing for all of the above. Um, it, never actually came other than the write-in count of five. Invalid sits at one, but that was only the one submitted as valid by payment, which was an X, a one, a one, a two, and a three. There were others that were invalid by duplicate payment for site selection on one membership. There were many that were Members of Worldcon, this one, that did not pay the voting fee despite being told them there was, by, that there was an additional fee that was basically the buy, membership for the 75th Worldcon. About half of them paid money to have their votes included and the other half did, didn't. There were other people who paid the 75th Worldcon fee, but I have no record that they were ever members of Sasquan. Unfortunately, those, because they paid to be 75th Worldcon members, are in the hands of the actual 75th Worldcon, so I do not have a count of that. I just wanted you to know there were more categories that counted as invalid. And there were people who failed to sign their ballot which forced them to be no preference. Most of those I caught in advance. Um, the last weekend, 
uh, before the mail. Voting was 225 by email delivery, and the mailbox in Huntington Valley was stuffed to the gills and cleared out every two days for the last two weeks. So somewhere in that time, and it, between those, that was about half the voting by mail in advance. Um, so I apologize to anyone who's, I was unable to get to give me a better signature to be counted. Um, no, I'm not, I'm up to, none of the above actually got zero. People took this seriously. Uh, Nippon for 2017 registered 120 votes. Montreal in 2017 received a total of 228 votes. D, what, excuse me, Washington DC in 17 received a total of 818 votes. Todd, sorry, I crossed my sevens. Uh, <laughs> um, and Helsinki in 2017 received a total of 1,363 valid votes. Ah, yes, this is Patrick Malloy's counting thing. So, uh, program, sorry. Um, the first thing he figured out is out of the total number of ballots cast, with preference being 200, 2,606, that in order to win, one needed 1,304. Therefore, 1,363 was the clear winner on the first ballot. There was no need for redistribution. I would like to thank everyone for bidding and giving us a choice. This was definitely a vigorous decision. Um, based on the number of people who submitted ballots, whether counted in the end or not. Um, I would also like to thank my staff and um, congratulations to Helsinki, Finland. Uh, are there any other questions to me as administrator? Right. Is there any other questions or uh, motions? Motion to right. I would like to uh, motion to thank the tellers and uh, accepting the results and order the ballots destroyed. Okay. Is there any objection? Is there any objection? Hearing none. Uh, the ballot. The tellers are thanked. Uh, the results accepted and the ballots are ordered destroyed. The selection of the 2017 winner is final. Thank you. Thank you. I believe the uh, chair was going to be resumed by Mr. Stanley, or is that, or we, <laughs> he seems to have forgotten this. I could keep running the meeting if you want, I don't know. <laughs> yes, once the results were official, uh, the, the bias goes away. Mr. Dashoff may rejoin us at his discretion. <laughs> Bef yeah, I'm aware of that. The members are asked to remember that the chairman is one of the people who helped write many of the rules and is generally aware of many of them. Thank you. <laughs> before before uh, calling upon the winning 2017 Worldcon bid, the chair would like to recognize uh, Mr. Glenn Glazer of Sasquan. Yes, would the representatives of the, of the winning Worldcon bid please come up to the head, uh, head as well, please? Where are you? Yeah, Emily? Yes, thank you. A, a moment, please. Um, I don't, have you spoken yet, Emily? Have you spoken to, today? Or, the, the transcription might want to know how your name is spelled. Hi, I'm Emily. E E M E L I. Congratulations. Um, 
Earlier in this business meeting, uh, the other day, um, we received a piece of uh, long-awaited good news uh, in that Millfill closed its books. Um, they uh, asked us to keep in trust for them um, the half of their uh, remaining funds which they chose to disperse. Uh, half went to uh, next year to Mid-American too, and the other half, as I said, was given to us in trust uh, to give to whoever won. Uh, that I am doing now. It is now my privilege, and I mean that, to present to you a check for 23,000 U.S. dollars uh, to the uh, Helsinki uh, World Fund. In a uh, uh, technical sense, we are now reached question time for the 2017 Worldcon, which means we have up to, I believe, 10 minutes. Now I'm to remember, Mr. Five, five minutes of presentation. Yeah, so five minutes five of presentation minutes. and then questions thereafter. We'll see how that goes. Okay. The chair recognizes Emily Aro. Hello. Cool. Um, hi. I don't need to be a bitcher anymore. <laughs> there is no more Helsinki in 2017. There is Worldcon 75. <laughs> and instead of me, you get to have three other people in charge of it. So, could I have, please? Jukka Halme. Saija Aro. And Crystal Huff. And to just make sure it's entirely unintentional that together they make up Team Ha to make up make a follow-up to next year's team, LOL. <laughs> and now, since my work here is done, I pass on the mic. Give them the check, Emily. Stop that, man. <laughs> give, give them back their give check. Them ba give them their check, Emily. Give them back their check. Email, email. Stop that man before he starts another bit. <laughs> okay, um, hello, my name is Jukka. I'll be one of the co-chairs uh, of the uh, Worldcon 75, which will be held in Helsinki, Finland, from 9th to 13th of uh, August 2017, in the lovely uh, exhibition center we have there, called Mestokeskus you will learn a few Finnish words along the way. <laughs> and, um, Saya, would you like to say something? Help. No. <laughs> oh, it's hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> My, I'm Saya, and thank you. Hello. My name is Crystal Huff, and uh, I am very excited to be here as well. And I think we are going to pass the mic for a couple of announcements. Uh, we are incredibly excited to announce for those of you with smartphones that our website is www.worldcon.fi. As you can see, uh, there are very exciting pieces of information on this website. If that's going to keep dropping out, you can take this. Pardon us for our technical difficulties, um, including our guests of honor. And we would love to share this information with you. So, we are incredibly excited to announce that one of our guests of honor is John Henry Holmberg. He is a Swedish fan 